I want to talk to you here about something that we're very excited about. Um, I am an entrepreneur at, at heart. Um, I am not a political pundit. I never wanted to be a political pundit. I, I didn't, uh, that's not what I do. Um, uh, but I am an entrepreneur and Pat's known me longer than anybody else, uh, that I work with. Pat's known me since the 1990s. And some of these things we talk about and joke about now, these are the same things that I was talking about and saying, you know, imagine if we, imagine if we could do this, what we could do. And now we have the ability to do these things. And uh, I am so fortunate. Yesterday, um, or Saturday, I was in Phoenix, and we did a, well, it's, it's, it's a, I did a speech, but it's not really even a speech. We don't even know what to call it yet. It's a different kind of art form, a different kind of presentation. And we're still in the infancy of it. And you'll see it in Florida um, if you go to the free pack this, this Friday. And it's one of the things that we're working on with the, uh, some of the guys in the American Dream Labs, which we're going to tell you a little bit more about tonight on TV. But here we were on Saturday, and I was working with um, the guy who's one of our musicians, Clyde Bodden, who's amazing in Phoenix. I'm uh, working with this unbelievable filmmaker, uh, Ben Mc, uh, McPherson. I, I can't always, I say, always say he's wrong in his name wrong. I, I want to say McPherson, but it's not. There's no, as he says, there's no fear in my name. Um, <laughs> He's had you, that problem should, a lot throughout his life, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you should probably spell it differently than Ben. Yeah. Um, but uh, Get your name right so we can pronounce it. Yeah, I mean, hello. Shh, anyway, sure. uh, I'm working with, uh, working with him, and we're sitting around, and we're talking about the things that we really want to do in the coming months and, and years on, on being able to put these things together. And I get an email about another division of our company that is doing something even more remarkable. Do you remember when I was on the air and we found out that, do you remember that ad from Levi's that said, um, that was using all of the footage from Occupy Wall Street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, was it the uniform of the of progressive They wanted to be the progressive or? of the, they wanted to be the uniform of the progressive movement. And they were using this ad on television, and it was banned in Europe because they were, it was showing the riots in the streets. And they were, they were using it to sell Levi's. And I lost it. And I said, that's just wrong. What are you, what are you doing? What are you holding up these guys for? Are you crazy? And this, the, the Levi's made a statement. They came out. And instead of saying, hey, you know, we don't mean that, what they said was, we want to be the uniform of the progressive movement. That's when I took off my pair of Levi's that I have always worn Levi's, and I swore I'd never wear them again. I'm not a boycott guy. I'm a creative guy. I'm not a guy who says, don't do this. I'm saying, we're going to do this. It was on that day that we dedicated ourselves to say, we're going to make a pair of jeans. I went and I found the company that makes the original denim. It's in North Carolina. It's Cone Denim. These are the people that made Levi's. They made the original denim for the 501s right after they became, they were coal miner jeans, I mean uh, gold miner jeans for a while. They were made in California in the late 1800s. Right before the turn of the century, they started to take off. And Cone Denim, the oldest operating um, uh, loom in the United States, still operating, made that denim. So I went to Cone. And I said, can you still make the 501, you know, that quality denim? They said, oh, yeah. You mean red selvage? And I said, sure, I don't even know what red selvage means. If you look inside of a pair of Levi's, you'll see a red stripe that goes down one leg, at least in the old pair. I don't even know if they do it this way anymore. But that means red selvage. That's the best denim made. We started looking into it. You can't even make the, the, the rivets, you know, that you have on the pockets and stuff. Those are fake rivets now. Back in the 1970s or 80s, I think it was, Levi's went and they moved all of their operations offshore. And they make them, everything is made in China now. To make a pair of jeans in America, Levi's makes them. They still make the original 501, all made in America, $300 for a reason. It's almost impossible to do it. 
almost impossible to make it in America. We believe in America. I don't believe in boycotts. I believe make something better. So we did. So we set out to make a pair of jeans from the same company that made, that Levi's gave up on. That Levi said, you know what, we're going to make everything. We'll make some of our denim over here, but we'll charge $300. We went to the same company and said, we want red selvage. And we did. We went in the, the copper rivets. You'll see, they even say, you could, you, nobody will ever notice this detail. It says 1791 on them. These are the original rivets. They're not made this way anymore. We made them the original way. We made them so they will last forever. We're not going to stonewash these and beat them all up and tear them. You're going to have to earn those stripes yourself. They are more expensive than a regular pair of jeans because this is 100% made in America. I'll, I'll pay more than if I go to Walmart and buy some? Uh, yes. No, oh, um, And you can only buy them online, um, and they are $129 a pair. That is expensive, and I know it. Mm-hmm. That's as cheap as we can possibly make them. If we can make them in bigger quantities, maybe we can drop that price. But we believe in America. We're also today, not only the jeans, but also these canvas shirts and denim shirts. These are, these were, um, we went and we looked for old patterns. We went and we found an old, uh, this is a rancher's shirt. Um, what were the ranchers wearing, you know? 50 years ago, when our grandparents were running farms, what, what, what was their clothing like? We went to try to find the original material, the original cut, everything else. Because our grandparents knew in the Great Depression, it better last. So we wanted something that really lasts. We got the right kind of buttons that are really going to last and everything else. This is, this, is, this is my favorite shirt ever. I love this shirt. But I want to show you here. This is my favorite thing. This is the, um, and if you're watching on TV, great. Otherwise, if you're listening on radio, you just go to 1791.com. But this is the denim shirt. And on all of our, all of our clothing line now has this label. And this was something I insisted on putting on. Remember that, remember that song that Al Gore said when he was 18, his mom used to sing to him when, she was, when he was going to sleep? Mm-hmm. And he, he had to be 18 because that's when they wrote that song. <laughs> <laughs> but he gave some speech. My mom used to sing me to sleep singing that song. Really? Mm-hmm. They wrote it when you were 18, you freak. <laughs> but it was look for the union label. Look for the non-union label. <laughs> on every on every. On every shirt that we make, and I think they're on in the jeans too, everything that we make, it says, made under free worker conditions, official label made in the United States, nothing worthwhile comes easy. If you would like to um, get the first off of the, um, off of the, the original mill, the original loom, you can do it now. Go to 1791.com. We'll, uh, we have some more of the story to tell you tonight at 5 o'clock and show you the people behind that are actually making things. I, the one thing I didn't get done and I wanted to get done, I still want done, is I don't want in the pockets inspected by number 18. I wanted all the people that make it, when they finish it, the last person on the line, I want them to sign the inside of the pocket. I haven't been able to get that one done yet. Slows, slows production down. But I want, I want people to sign them because these are Americans that are going back to work. If you'd like to help us build an American company making American quality, go to 1791.com. It'll, it'll help you figure out what size you wear. American jeans made by Americans. The way Americans like to wear jeans and for what Americans like to do, work hard. 1791.com.